Man, this is a crazy situation. It's like a cyberpunk 2077 side quest come to life. So many of you have probably heard about the CD Projekt Red being hacked situation. But for those who haven't kept up, here's sort of a summary of everything that's happened so far. So on February 8th, 2021, CD Projekt released the following statement on Twitter, stating, Yesterday, we discovered that we have become a victim of a targeted cyber attack due to which some of our internal systems have been compromised. An unidentified actor gained unauthorized access to our internal network, collected certain data belonging to CD Projekt Capital Group, and left a ran ransom note, the content of which we released to the public. Although some devices in our network have been encrypted, our backups remain intact. We have already secured our IT infrastructure and begun restoring the data. We will not give in to the demands nor negotiate with the actor, being aware that this may eventually lead to the release of the compromised data. We are taking necessary steps to mitigate the consequences of such release, in particular by approaching any parties that may be affected due to the breach. We are still investigating the incident, however, at this time we can confirm that to our best to our best knowledge, the compromised systems did not contain any personal data of our players or users of our services. We have already approached the relevant authorities, including law enforcement and the president of the Personal Data Protection Office, as well as IT forensic specialists, and we will closely cooperate with them in order to fully investigate this incident. CD Projekt also released a statement to former employees stating to our ex-employees, as of this moment, we don't possess evidence that any of your personal data was accessed. However, we still recommend caution, i.e. enabling fraud alerts. If you have questions, please write to our privacy team. As for the ransom note that was left behind, here's a text file that reads, Hello, CD Projekt. You have been epically pwned. We have dumped full copies of the source codes from your Perforce server for Cyberpunk 2077, Witcher 3, Gwent, and the unreleased version of Witcher 3. We have also dumped all of your documents relating to accounting, administration, legal, HR, investor relations, and more. Also, we have encrypted all of your servers, but we understand that you can most likely recover from backups. If we will not come to an agreement, then your source codes will be sold or leaked online and your documents will be sent to our contacts in gaming journalism. Your public image will go down the shitter even more and people will see how shitty your company functions. Investors will lose trust in your company and the stock will dive even lower. You have 48 hours to contact us. Now, the language of this ransom note led a lot of people to believe that this was probably some disgruntled gamer who was trying to get back at CD Projekt over the rough launch of Cyberpunk 2077. But as noted by Fabian Wozar here, it seems more likely that the hack was executed by a ransomware group called Hello Kitty. So here's what Fabian Wozar had to say. The amount of people that are thinking this was done by a disgruntled gamer is laughable. Judging by the ransom note that was shared, this was done by a ransomware group we track as Hello Kitty. This has nothing to do with disgruntled gamers and is just your average ransomware. And there is indeed websites that are analyzing the ransomware note and comparing to past ransomware notes that Hello Kitty have left behind. And they're all custom made for different companies that they hack, but there's enough evidence to suggest that CD Projekt Red's hack, the modus operandi of that, is very much reminiscent of how Hello Kitty tends to carry themselves. So nothing official on that front, that's just the current speculation. Let's follow up with this Verge article that goes deeper into the details as to how all of this played out. So earlier today, and this article was published on February 10th, so yesterday, earlier today, leaks of potentially legitimate source code information started appearing on online forums, as noted on Twitter by the cybersecurity account VX Underground. So VX Underground tweeted the following, CD Projekt Red's ransom data has been leaked online, suggesting that, yes, the ransom, the hacking situation, it's all real. This is the source code to Gwen card game, Witcher 3, Cyberpunk, etc. is being auctioned today on exploit forums. I think that's a Russian forum at a starting bid of a million US dollars. Uh, this is a typo, by the way. The ransomware author said they will not be auctioning data anywhere else. Any other location other than exploit is fake. 
update a mistake was made they stated starting bid uh 1kk which means a million they also are selling immediately for seven million so it's kind of like ebay where you have a set price that you can buy a product immediately or if you choose to bid and be part of the auction you might be able to get it for less money but you're competing with other people and the screenshots here show proof of all of this going down so here is the forum exploit highlighting all of that information and then right here we have some of the files that show that this is yeah, the files are legitimate. Darknet Intelligence Kila also corroborated this when they tweeted out, following the recent ransomware attack on video game developer City Project, Kila reveals that hackers are now auctioning off the source code they acquired with a starting price of a million. And speaking to The Verge, Kila said that it has every reason to believe the auctions are in fact legitimate. And this is what they told The Verge. We do believe that this is a real auction by a real seller who accessed the data. The seller offers to use a guarantor, and he allows only those who have a deposit to participate. A tactic that is used by many sellers to show that they're serious and to ensure that no scam will occur. And a threat analyst over at Kila was actually able to download some of these files to verify them, and it was confirmed that offers include source code for basically all of CD Projekt's major games, namely Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, Throne Breaker, The Witcher Tales, and Cyberpunk 2077 alongside Gwent. Now, as of the publishing of this video, the auction has taken place successfully. So The Verge reported yesterday that it was supposed to take place tomorrow, which is today at 5 a.m. Eastern time. And indeed, if we look at the latest developments, we can see VX Underground here, for example, updating us by stating, we have confirmed the auction has closed. Someone has indeed purchased the material. Kila confirmed this. Stating Justin CD Project Red auction is closed. Hackers auctioned off stolen source code for the Red Engine and CDPR game releases and have just announced that a satisfying offer from outside the forum was received with the condition of no further distribution or selling. So we don't know how much the source codes ended up selling for, but no doubt it was in the range of millions. Finally, we have a screen capture here from IGN's coverage of this showing some of the things that the hacker wrote. So here's a post from yesterday with the hacker stating that CD Projekt should have just resolved this quietly instead of yelling at the world about this. And then when somebody asked how did it end, he said yes, everything sold outside the auction. So yeah, the hacker or hackers made good on their promise and threats in the ransom note. And this is all we know so far, no doubt this situation will continue to develop. We'll hear more about this as investigations are conducted. As for what my thoughts on this whole situation are, well, I know it's easy to look at this and say, haha, you deserve this CD project because of how you release Cyberpunk 2077. But keep in mind that A, this is a crime. This is straight up the equivalent of a break in, a cyber break in, obviously. Property was stolen, and this is straight up just a criminal activity. And B, the ones who are most negatively affected by this are the developers, the ones who were not responsible for the decisions, the leadership decisions that led to the rush launch of Cyberpunk 2077. These are the people who did what they could in the circumstances that they were in. They were the ones who actually worked on the technology, the engine and the game itself. It's their work that was stolen. It's the stuff that they poured their blood, sweat, and tears into that was stolen and auctioned off. And it's not just technology that was stolen, documents relating to accounting, administration, legal, HR, investor relations, and more. These documents may very well contain personal or private information of individual staff members, employees, and developers that may be quite compromising for them. Now, this all begs the question, how did a hack like this happen? Was it just that the hacker group just had the resources to penetrate CD Projekt's security systems, or did CD Projekt open themselves, leave themselves open in some way, shape, or form? I covered a story a few days ago about an exploit involving Cyberpunk 2077 mods that could potentially leave not only players open to hacks, but also CD Projekt if save files are sent to them and analyzed in CD Projekt Red systems. I don't know if that has any relation to this or if this is just an entirely different situation of just a, a really well-equipped hacker group. But either way, it is 
unfortunate that something like this happened. I mean, the goal here on the part of hackers clearly wasn't some kind of justice. They weren't set out to expose some dark city project secret or anything. What they set out to do was steal somebody else's work and then sell it off for profit. And again, people are allowed to be pissed at CD Projekt for how they shipped Cyberpunk, but two wrongs don't make a right. This goes doubly true when the wrong people, when innocent people, when people who don't deserve any of this are caught in the crossfire. But that's just one man's take. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on this whole CD Projekt Red getting hacked situation. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.